Let's talk about how to start a cross cut on a board. Uh, we've got our bench hooks here so that we've got a nice solid platform to push against. I'm going to turn my body sideways and open up my stance. I'm going to get a nice light grip on the saw with my finger pointing the direction I want to cut. And I'm going to start at the far end. And the reason I do that is because I want to be able to see as I work my way down this line where the saw plate is. And if I've got the saw plate down like this, I can't really see where I'm cutting because the plate is between my eye and the work. If I go this way, I can kind of look under the tooth line and see where I'm at. The other thing I'm going to do is put a finger up here and the fingertip is round. So when I push the plate up against it, the teeth, they might rub, the side of the teeth might rub against my finger a little bit, but they're not going to cut into it unless I really wail down on it and it jumps out of the cut and, uh, and I, you know, cut myself that way. So I've got a solid grip, got open, open stance, solid grip on the work, open stance, light grip on the saw, and I'm going to start the back end and I'm just going to float. I'm not actually going to try to engage in the cut until the saw is moving a little bit. So float over the, the side. I've got a little notch started there and I'm going to nibble my way back in this direction. I'm not going to try to advance on that cut line until I've got a solid straight curve here. And I'll move this over so you might be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, now I've established a curve. So I know that at least on the top of this cut, it's going to be straight. I can drop the heel and work down the side a little bit, but usually when I'm doing a cross cut, I just lay the saw flat now and just finish the cut. Okay, cut right into my bench hook, no big deal. I got just the tiniest bit out of square, so if I look at my grip, when I squeeze hard, it rotates, so I was probably gripping the saw just a little bit too hard, but it's nothing that a block plane couldn't clean up in a matter of seconds. You can see I got a little bit off. I was right on the line here and a little bit off the line there. I'm not gonna lie, this is not something that you can just walk up and be good at right away. It's like anything, any good skill, you've gotta practice it. So don't be afraid to just go out and start cutting slices off of a board, try to cut to a line. And then when that gets boring, try cutting without a line and see if you got a square cut.